What are you doing, old man? Why? Get out go take a shower. Get you too drunk yesterday? Uh-uh. No? I think I got you. I think I got you too drunk yesterday. Uh-uh. Been cleaning and all that shit. Now I'm getting ready to go clean myself up and walk to town. Yeah? Right on. When is your surgery? Well, I, I'm going in Monday. Are you? Yeah. What do they got to do? No, they're going to hopefully split my gum line again and make a flap and lay it over that bone. Yeah, because you got an exposed bone. Yeah, it fucking hurts. I bet. Now, how long has it been since you had your teeth pulled? Mm, month and a half. It should be healed by now. I'm over the pain. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for him to fucking do something different. Right? <laughs> I had the same problem. I had an exposed bone back here on the right. And uh, I kept thinking it was just a bone sliver, you know. And most of the bone slivers would come out when I'd put a little adhesive in my denture. Right. And when I'd pull the denture out, they'd stick to that adhesive and it'd pull that bone sliver out. Which you don't ever want to pick at them with your fingers or anything because you can cause infections. And I kept feeling that one with my tongue, and I finally went to the doctor, and he just split the gum open, shaved that down a little bit, sewed the gum back together. He said, you just had a shard that was off of one of the sockets. It was just sticking straight out like yeah, that. I got one down here right behind the bone spur, this bone that's hanging out. Yeah. So you have the abutments in the bottom, right? They drilled them in already the same day you had your teeth yeah, pulled? Four of them. Wow. And then you had a massive infection. Right after, what was it, two days after, you had that, your yeah. face was swelled up like a fucking watermelon. Yep, yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Looked like you had an abscess, too. <laughs> goddamn teeth, though. <laughs> no. Now you got that damn exposed bone, shit. You're having all kind of difficulty. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. I need to put your story on YouTube so other people can see what the hell you're going through. People. You know? They see somebody else going through issues, it helps them if they have the same issues. You love my damn cat, don't you? She's over here all the time, hanging out right there. Yep. She likes people for some reason. I don't I don't get it. I can't stand people. <laughs> my problem is the first time I offer somebody a ride, they'll be beating on my door every 10 minutes asking me to take them to the store again. I had to nip that shit in the bud right off the bat when I took over this park because nobody in here had a car. <laughs> yeah, mine's just short lived. Yeah. Yep. Short lived. They going to do the surgery yeah. on Monday? Uh, probably not Monday. I'm going to see the surgeon Monday, but. Um, I'm hoping it'll be done maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, because you can't even wear your damn dentures. Mm -mm. That sucks. But man, you sure tore through that steak with no teeth. <laughs> I'm telling you. My brother's like, I don't know how the fuck you did that, dude. And I was like, You do what you got to do. You learn. Your body will adjust to the situation so you can eat. Right? Whether you have teeth or not. I see people all the time eating steaks in restaurants with no damn teeth. And I they see ain't, people eating they ain't had, apples with no teeth. Yeah, and they ain't had teeth in 30 years. You know? I'm just getting ready to get my ass in gear. Now I'll just get dressed and just fucking go get hot and sweaty. It ain't going to be that bad today. It's going to be nice and cool. Same as 